time is the most crucial thing here. We can sacrifice them for any other goal, as important as it can be. Don't wait. Make a deal. Be brave. Pay the prices. Bring them home. It's the only thing that's right and moral. It was a, a very hard week. Shiri and the boys were supposed to come out every day and not knowing why uh, everybody's coming out and they're not. And then on the last day, uh, Hamas published that they were killed from an Israeli bombing. As a family, we are really trying to, to be optimistic and to hope that it's, uh, it's not true and the Shiri and the, and the boys are alive somewhere. He was left there with this horrible situation to face all alone, away from us, his family, not knowing if it's true or not. Days are just passing and we don't hear anything progressing and it's really worrying. We heard from hostages the condition and the lack of food and lack of water. It's hard for adults, so I don't know. Our baby and a four years old can still survive this. I believe that the only way to bring them is through negotiation. Israeli people always put life as a priority. But I think there isn't any kind of price that is too high for our family's life, for the people of this country that were taken from their home. I want to tell the Israeli government they have to act now and they have to be active and they have to push for a deal and to negotiate as hard as they can and, and to bring them out, all of them.